Um, today I want to show you how to perform your skull crushers without getting elbow pain. All right, this is a simple adjustment that is going to help you a ton. I'm just going to give you a couple tips, but if you ever experience elbow pain with your skull crushers, it's going to help big time. And I understand skull crushers are a fantastic tricep variation, but oftentimes they do beat us up. But we want to continue to perform them because they're so valuable. So I'm going to give you these couple tips. Hopefully this helps you guys out. All right, we're going to start with a straight bar. And this is usually where you're going to run into a little bit of trouble with the straight bar because it puts us in that pronated position. Okay, so if I get on the bench here. Now, this position is a little bit tricky. Okay, because I'm in this pronated position. As I'm going down, you can see it's kind of forcing that external rotation. It's gonna become more torque on the elbow. Okay, so if I'm trying to do skull crushers like this, that's gonna be a little bit tough. And over time, if I'm going really, really heavy, this really forces me into a little bit of a tough position. All right, so this is gonna to be tough to maintain. And this is where you're usually experiencing some elbow pain. So what I would encourage you to do instead, take a cambered bar. All right, doesn't have to be an easy curl bar, but usually these are readily available in most gyms. Um, but even if you had some sort of other cambered bar you can use. Now you can see what this does for me. When I grab it here or here, there's a slight camber to the bar and angle. So with this, um, it allows me some more rotation. So I'm not stuck like this with my arm. I'm not stuck in this position coming down. I can rotate in just slightly, just enough where it's going to avoid some pain in my elbow if I don't have great mobility. So for skull crushes, I can perform them like this now, and it's not going to be quite as bad on my elbows. All right, taking too close of a grip, this might hurt you a little bit too. All right, this really pins me in close. I can already feel the tension a lot differently. If I stay out here, um, I can handle this a little bit better, okay? So the other tip I wanna share with you guys here is going to be um, how you're performing them. So a lot of times you like to do skull crushers just straight down, literally crushing your skull, right? So if this was a drop, boom, there goes my skull. Straight up. Okay, that's how most people will perform the skull crushers, right? But in the bottom, this is, this is straight elbow extension in the bottom because you don't wanna roll forward from here. So to get up, that's a lot of stress right in this position right here. So one thing that's great to counteract that is bands because bands will deload or chains will deload when you're down in this position and then a load to the bar as you're up here. Okay, but if you don't have bands and chains available, if you're just using straight weight, what I like to do to deload the bottom a little bit, come down here, but don't come towards your forehead, roll back a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna stretch into my lats a little bit. I'm coming down, I'm gonna stretch into my lats a little bit. And then to get the bar moving again, I'm going to do this lat pullover type motion right here to get a little momentum and then boom, straight up. So I'm kind of using some assistance in that bottom position to deload a little bit for me and then extending through the weight. All right, if I was like this, it'd be back, boom. So you can see I have a little forward rock that's going to help me in that bottom position. So that's kind of simulating the same effect I'd get with bands or chains, but it's gonna be a lot more friendly on my elbows. I'm not gonna hit them so hard right at the bottom here, because I can use a lot of weight on a skull crusher, because I can handle it about right here where we're getting most of the triceps. But if I'm in this peculiar position with a lot of straight weight, and it's just elbow extension through, that's a lot to my elbows to handle just on that joint alone. So those are a couple tricks that you can use to make your skull crusher training that much more effective. You can try to see a fat guy trying to get off a bench here. Ugh. And I coach Ben, and you can meet me on a bench. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel over here. Check out the links in the description box below. You can see a video related on this topic right here, and then our latest video right there. Thanks for watching.